Hi all. We're going to do a grounding video. How to ground your generator. You can see here on the generator, there's a little grounding sign here. There's that little grounding sign. It says in the manual something about a grounding screw, but it doesn't show exactly where it is. But that's the that's the sign for a ground. So then we're gonna run a this piece of wire here over to the grounding rod there we did a video on putting that grounding rod in, in the ground a little while ago then you connect this wire to the grounding cable to the grounding rod with this with this clamp. I think they have uh, new and improved clamps now, but uh, this is the way they've done it for years. Okay, so I'm no expert at this stuff, but uh, it doesn't look like this cable is going to go on here. So there must be some type of piece that slides on here that has that built-in washer. So this will clamp on here. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this. that in a circle it's so stiff you know this screw seems to be pretty long so if you, <clears throat> if you could bend it <laughs> so I don't think this will work very good but just to give you a general idea you see she's saying you can't even bend it to uh, enough to make a circle yeah That's not going to work. There's got to be some type of uh, something that slides on there. Something smaller. A smaller cable. Something well, smaller that you could bend it in a circle. This is what they recommend. See, and then this, this would go around here like that. I might be able to pound it down with a hammer. So until we check on that other part, I'm just gonna try to see if I can get it here. Small, you won't be able to get the screw through it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 
at least we'll be able to get it on there. <clears throat> so and then that's what she was talking about. If you get it too small, you can't get it in there. Well, if you took the screw all the way out, then you just well. I don't know how, how much. Oh, I guess it wasn't much longer. See, that's that that's gonna be cut that close. Well, I guess it'll go in. Gotta be a better way. here uh, most things I've seen about these grounding rods I guess they're supposed to be underground but uh, most things I've seen about these grounding rods I guess they're supposed to be like six inches below the surface of the ground but uh, I'm gonna leave this one up uh, I'll probably pound it down a little more but for now just for the video to show you how this connects just to show you how this connects you got this thing here it slides in screwdriver See, and then this screw comes out down inside there and you tighten that up. Okay. So it's kind of messy here, the this setup we have, but we've got the generator stored in the shed. And uh, that's the best place we could find for the grounding rod. This is the manual for the uh, generator. This is the only part that says grounding. It says your generator must be properly connected to an appropriate ground to help prevent electric shock. Failure to properly ground the generator can result in electric shock. <clears throat> A ground terminal connected to the frame of the generator has been provided on the power panel. For remote grounding, connect a length of heavy gauge, 12 gauge minimum, copper wire between the generator ground terminal and a copper rod driven into the ground. We strongly recommend that you consult qualified electrician to ensure compliance with local electrical codes. So everything else I've read on, on the internet says these don't have to be grounded, but uh, most people I've talked to recommend it. Now this says here, uh, 
A ground terminal connected to the frame of the generator has been provided on the power panel. So that would be the front. I don't see anything on the power panel that would say ground where you could screw a wire onto. <clears throat> So that must be what they're talking about. Well, it comes off from behind there. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's connected to this. You ran it last year without it. Yeah. No yeah. ground. <laughs> yeah. Just about everything I read said most laws say the portable generators don't have to be grounded. But the electricians I've talked to say it's a good idea. So I don't see anything else that would say ground. So that must be where it's at. You know, that it's got that little symbol there. And if it ain't long enough, you'll have to set it on some wood or something over here. Okay, just kind of come along here and get another slow picture. Tommy's looking for food. Hmm. Okay, see ya. Bye.